Japan, and I'm here to help you learn English in a simple, fun, and useful way. If you're tired of studying and not seeing progress, you're in the right place. I've created easy lessons that take you step by step, starting from the basics and moving up. We'll focus on key areas like grammar and listening, both super important to help you understand and speak English naturally. That's what we want, right? This video is a part of a series of lessons, so if you've been learning with me or one of my teachers, it's a great way to review what you've already covered in class. Whether we're working together one-on-one, -on -one, in a group, or you're starting with one of my teachers, these presentations help you keep practicing and keep making progress. Think of this video as a tool to review the lesson, a way to go over the material again and make it stick. The way of learning really works. You'll start to understand and speak English with more confidence. So stick with it, keep practicing, and you'll see progress in no time. And if you want even more practice, you can find exercises on my website at davidenglish.info that go perfectly with these lessons to help you learn faster. Let's get started. G runs. The ing form of a verb is used. As an object, she enjoys reading books. Notice that I'm not saying she enjoys to read books. I'm saying she enjoys reading books. As the subject of a sentence, running is a great way to stay fit. After prepositions in, at, on, for, and etc., we also use a G run. He is interested in learning new languages. Now, before we get started with the practice and drills, I just want to give you a little bit of a tip to really get this down. So what exactly is a G run to me? So here's an example. I can tell you I like ice cream, right? Ice cream is a thing. So what we're doing right now is we're making this verb ing into a thing. So when I say I like ice cream, I can say I like ice cream and I can also say ice cream is very delicious, right? Ice cream is very delicious. Now I'm taking ice cream and I'm putting it in the beginning of the sentence as the subject. I'm saying ice cream is delicious. Can I do that with a verb ing as well? Yes, I can. I like swimming, for example. I like swimming, the thing, swimming, the thing. And then I can say, swimming is very healthy. Swimming is very healthy for you. Notice that I'm taking this verb ing. Now it becomes an idea, a thing, a process. And I'm putting it in the beginning of the sentence. And now I'm saying swimming is good for you. Let me give you another one. I like playing tennis. Playing tennis is fun. Notice that I'm saying, I like playing tennis, the idea of playing tennis. And now I'm making it a subject saying, playing tennis is fun. So keep that with you as we do the exercises. Directions, complete the sentences. At this point, you can stop the video, get a pen or pencil and notebook and write down your own answers and then check once you're done. Number one. I can't wait for eat the delicious meal. What do you think? I can't wait for eating the delicious meal. Why do we say eating here? Because of the word for. It's a preposition. G runs follow prepositions. Number two, he's excited about start his new job. He's excited about starting his new job. The answer is he's excited about starting his new job. Again, we have another preposition. The word, the word about is a preposition. So you want to use the word starting. Are you interested in join us for the trip? Again, are you interested in joining us for the trip? Because of the word in, we're going to be using a verb ing. Four, she loves dance at parties. Here, we're going to say she loves dancing at parties. 
And again, it's the idea of dancing, the process of dancing. Now it's a thing, a sub, it's an object, kind of like ice cream. She loves ice cream too. She loves dancing. Five, they avoid talk about politics. They avoid talking about politics. So after the word avoid, you should be using a G run. Six, she enjoys paint in her free time. I'm going to say she enjoys painting in her free time. Seven, they discussed move to a new city. They discussed moving to a new city. Eight, he's proud of complete the marathon. Here we have the word of. Again, it's a preposition followed by a gerund. He's proud of completing the marathon. Nine, are you used to wake up early? This is a very difficult one for people because we have the word to, but in this structure, in this formula, are you used to? We're going to say, are you used to waking up early? That's the correct answer. Ten, I hate misimported events. Here you want to say, I hate missing important events, not I hate to miss important events. So that means, again, the word enjoy, the word love, the word like and hate, you can use G runs. Directions, complete the sentences. And here you're going to be finding words from your own mind, okay, to complete the sentence. So let's do this. Number 11 is important for a healthy lifestyle. What do you think? I'm going to go with exercising. Exercising is important for a healthy lifestyle. What do you think? Write it in the comments. 12, mm, broadens your perspective. Something broadens your perspective. What do you think? I think traveling broadens your perspective. Traveling broadens your perspective. Let's go to number 13. New languages can be challenging. What do you think goes there? I'm going to say learning new languages can be challenging, right? <laughs> 14 helps improve your vocabulary. Hmm. I wonder what that can be. Give me some tips. I'm going to say reading helps improve your vocabulary. What do you think? 15. At home is often healthier than eating out. What do you think? I'm going to say cooking at home is often healthier than eating out. 16 is a great way to stay fit. In your opinion, what is a great way to stay fit? You tell me. Swimming is a great way to stay fit, in my opinion. Swimming is a great way to stay fit. 17, in the morning helps clear my mind. Tell me, what helps you clean your mind in the morning? The answer is jogging in the morning helps clear my mind. What about you? 18, can reduce stress levels. Something, what can reduce stress re levels? What things do you think can reduce stress levels? Maybe meditating. Meditating can reduce stress levels. 19, takes a lot of patience and skill. I'm going to say baking takes a lot of patience and skill, but probably parenting as well if you guys are parents out there. 20, requires regular care and attention. If any of you have a garden out there, I would say gardening requires regular care and attention. Gardening requires regular care and attention. You let me know in the comments what you think. At this point, you can really just try and just tell me some things you like doing and things you have to do. But I would start with things that you like doing. Here's the answer key. Let's read them out together. I'll pause so you can repeat after me. I can't wait for eating the delicious meal. He's excited about starting his new job. Are you interested in joining us for the trip? She loves dancing at parties. They avoid talking about politics. 
She enjoys painting in her free time. They discussed moving to a new city. He's proud of completing the marathon. Are you used to waking up early? I hate missing important events. Exercising is important for a healthy lifestyle. Traveling broadens your perspective. Learning new languages can be challenging. Reading helps improve your vocabulary. Cooking at home is often healthier than eating out. Swimming is a great way to stay fit. Jogging in the morning helps clear my mind. Meditating can reduce stress levels. Baking takes a lot of patience and skill. Gardening requires regular care and attention. Guys, for more information, visit and follow my social media accounts. Don't forget to give me a like and thumbs up. Subscribe. Give me a little comment there to help the channel grow. And if you want more exercises like this, just check it out at davidenglish.info. And we'll see you there. Bye for now. Hi, how are you today? If you would like to elevate your English level, where people actually understand you, where you're not making mistakes, where you're not confused, where you have control of your English, then you're in the right place. My name is David Sugarman. I've been teaching business English for over 12 years, and I can really help you. Currently right now, I'm teaching in big companies like Diplomat Israel, like Ikea, and others. If you would like to hear more information, please reach out to me over here. Bye for now.